I just bought this Femco 25 gallon trailer sprayer and you can see the number right there. And I'm going to back up so you can, this is a picture of the box. Okay, I just put this uh, sprayer together, Femco. I had an old Femco and it's the same model number, I bought it uh, in 2006. But uh, there's there's two complaints, and one one of them is a they must have had a, a greenhorn engineer. Uh, it it at first glance I really like this. I thought, man, this is sharp and it, it's well made. But uh, uh, the the one hose uh, is down underneath and. You have to snake it through the boom sprayer, and uh, but that's you know that's just a little inconvenience. But here is the main problem. I'm getting ready to show you. Okay, down. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it, underneath the pump down there, down below the pump is the filter. I'm going to get around, okay, now, uh, if you can see the filter, my finger's on it, and, and, uh, that is a poor, poor design, poor placement, you, you cannot get leverage on that, on that to unscrew it and screw it to clean the filter, that, that's, that's bad, but overall, I think I like it, but that, that, that uh, screen filter is in a terrible position. All right, hold it on the target. Mm -hmm. Are you? All right, one, two, three. All right, now I'll get back. All right, one, two, three, go. Okay, here is another, another uh, uh, poorly designed. This boom, this fits up in here, and this, this keeper supposedly fits underneath there and keeps it in place. Well, wa watch with my finger. Well, two fingers. Well, now it's staying in there. Well, now it's staying in there. <laughs>